Welcome readers! Today we're going to be reading Henry and Mudge by Cynthia Ryland and it's illustrated by Susie Stevenson. The essential question I want you guys to be thinking about while you're listening to the reading is what is a perfect pet like to you? Henry had no brothers and no sisters. I want a brother, he told his parents. Sorry, they said. Henry had no friends on his street. I want to live on a different street, he told his parents. Sorry, they said. Henry had no pets at home. I want to have a dog, he told his parents. Sorry, they almost said. But first they looked at their house with no brothers and sisters. Then they looked at their street with no children. Then they looked at Henry's face. Then they looked at each other. Okay, they said. I want to hug you, Henry told his parents, and he did. Henry searched for a dog. Not just any dog, said Henry. Not a short one, he said. Not a curly one, he said. And no pointed ears. Then he found Mudge. Mudge had floppy ears, not pointed. And Mudge had straight fur, not curly. But Mudge was short. Because he's a puppy, Henry said. He'll grow. And did he ever. He grew out of his puppy cage. He grew out of his dog cage. He grew out of seven collars in a row. And when he finally stopped growing, he weighed 180 pounds. He stood three feet tall and he drooled. I'm glad you're not short, Henry said. And Mudge licked him, then sat on him. The end. Hi, boys and girls. Now it's time for you guys to write about your reading and do a little quick response. Think about what Henry asks for at the beginning of the story. Do you think that Henry's parents are right to let him have a dog? Write a few sentences to explain your opinion. Use text evidence from the story to help your reasons. Remember the writing tip. Use a capital letter at the beginning of each sentence and use an end mark at the end of each sentence. Happy writing!